Hi everyone, welcome to day one of the Disney Channel Games Readathon. Um, I am currently camping in an RV um, with my partner's family. So, um, I have gotten some reading done. I read last night at midnight. I haven't been wanting to film just because like there's a lot of people in a small place and I felt awkward about it. Um, but I did read last night. I started reading for my first challenge, which is the Alphabet Goop Challenge. So it was to randomly generate a letter and then read a book that went along with that. So I got E, so I'm rereading Eleanor and Park. I am currently a hundred pages into it exactly. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's cute. Um, it's not quite as good as I remember it, but the last time I read it, I was like 14. So that's to be expected. Um, I am having to work on finals. I'm going to go right now. It's like five o'clock ish. I'm going to go right now and finish writing an essay that I need to get done. I have like one more body paragraph an intro and conclusion and then I'll be done and then I'm gonna read for a while um I'm hoping that I'll be able to read another hundred or so pages tonight I know I'm gonna play some games tonight too and I'm gonna try not to like force myself to read a bunch I am still reading my other book I'm still reading the name of the wind I've had a couple of bad reading days the last few days just because of finals and stuff um but yeah I am going to get through some more of this um I don't think I'll have a problem finishing it before the challenge ends it ends on Tuesday um and yeah that's where I'm at currently oh I also today already did the cute little um extra challenge which is to spell something out with books or songs so I spell a little message with the first letter of every song I'm going to insert it here and I hope that everyone who is participating in the readathon or not is able to do both of those things over the next little bit. Um, I'm gonna go outside and finish working on my essay. I'm just gonna finish it up real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and read for a while. I also want to show the view because it is very pretty. We are on a lake. Like, it's gorgeous. It's very pretty. I'm gonna show you right now. everyone um please excuse how i look right now and the bird on my head we just got back from camping we were still hanging out in the rv um i didn't really film a lot because i felt awkward filming in front of people that's just how it is um but i did today today's monday evening by the way it's like 11 o'clock at night i did a couple hours ago finish eleanor and park um i gave it two stars which was pretty disappointing because i remember really really loving that book when i first read it when i was like 13 um don't read books that were your favorites at 13 don't reread them they don't hold up they don't age well they age really really badly um yeah but I did finish Alphabet Goop which is the first challenge for the Disney Channel Games Readathon which is very exciting um Eleanor and Park was fun in parts there were very cute moments in it definitely there were parts that I enjoyed there was also just like a lot of racism that was trying to be pulled off as diversity um I saw someone leave a comment on the Goodreads page for that book that was like this book shows that we really need diversity in books but more importantly we need own voices authors putting in that diversity into books and I agree it's yeah I definitely just agree um there was also just some weird plot issues of like things would happen in the plot that like didn't come up again like a big part of the plot was never really resolved which was kind of upsetting it just wasn't great I remember really liking Eleanor when I was like 13 and now reading her I just thought that she was so annoying um I thought that she was a very hard character to like very manic pixie dream girl-esque but not in a like new or original way um, so yeah, I didn't love the book, but I did finish it, which is good for the challenge. Um, and I enjoyed it enough. It was very fast to read. Oh goodness! Oh goodness, you're just going! My bird is fine. She just flew over there and is hanging out now. So anyway, that is how the first challenge went for Disney Channel Games Readathon. Um, since I didn't read it all on Tuesday and I can't start my next book till Wednesday, I'm probably gonna read more of The Name of the Wind tonight maybe also sorry i didn't film very much i'm definitely going to be combining this challenge with the next challenge i just didn't film a lot because like i didn't 
I just felt awkward about it. And she's back. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the book enough. Gave it two stars. That's where I'm at. I'm gonna call it a night for now. Um, I honestly probably won't start filming again until Tuesday when the next challenge starts. Or Wednesday. Wednesday is when the next challenge starts. Tuesday night. I'll check in tomorrow night. Okay. Bye! Hello, everyone. Um, so it is, like, 1240 on technically Wednesday, I guess. Tuesday night. Um, and I just started reading my second book for the Disney Channel Games Readathon, which is Come Closer by Sarah Gran. This is a book my friend Demita recommended to me. This is actually their copy, um, that I got a long time ago and never returned. So I'm reading it now. It's really good. It's very spooky. It's a, um, supernatural horror book um it's pretty good so far i'm like almost 50 pages in i'm almost 50 pages in it is short it's less than 200 pages so if i don't finish it tonight i'm definitely going to be finishing it tomorrow which is exciting this challenge is going well so far um tomorrow i'm probably gonna figure out how to um or thursday maybe i'll do it thursday i'm gonna have to recreate something bookish which is exciting. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking I might, like, take a photo that looks like a book cover. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, that's probably the only update I'm going to have for tonight. I'm going to just keep reading until I am sleepy. Also, if you can hear background noise, my partner got um, a VR set recently, and he's been playing Skyrim VR and is having a lot of fun doing that. So if you can hear him, that's that's what that is. Hi everyone, good morning. It is Wednesday morning. I'm saying morning, it's like noon. Um, I really need to sleep. Uh, I read to about page 69 last night of Come Closer. Um, after that, I started having some anxiety, so I had to calm myself down a little bit. Um, I was not doing great last night, I was just being kind of anxious. Um, so because of that, I ended up sleeping in pretty late today, but that's okay. Um, it is technically still finals week for me, but I have now finished three of my four classes, which is like super exciting. So all I have left to do is finish my project for Spanish and then take that test. Um, but I have pretty much finished the first draft of the project and I have to meet with both the professor and the tutor to like talk to them about it to see if I can fix anything before I turn it in. And I can't meet with the tutor until 6.30 tonight, so... I've got some time just to hang out, which is really exciting. I'm going to just read for a little while. Um, if I don't finish Come Closer today, I will definitely be finishing it by tomorrow. Um, I'm already like 40-ish percent of the way through it because, again, it's a pretty short book. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. It is spooky. Um, it's basically, I don't want to like say anything too much about it because I feel like it would give things away. Um, but it's basically about this woman who lives, like, a really normal life, um, and then slowly kind of odd things start happening to her, and she ends up ordering a book for her job from, like, an independent bookstore, but the book that shows up is one that's called, like, Are You Possessed by a Demon? It has, like, a checklist, um, and some of the things that she's been experiencing falls into that checklist, and then things ensue. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's really good. It's spooky. Um, it's very good though. I'm enjoying it a lot. I haven't read like a horror in a little while, so I'm enjoying it so far. Also, short horror books like really excite me because to me, it's like, wow, you really have to, you really have to think this through before you, before you start writing because it all has to be really concise, which I think is cool. Um, but yeah, I think tomorrow is when I'm going to take my photo for the challenge. I think I'm going to do that. I'm thinking I might do the book cover from Sadie, is what I'm thinking, but like with a real person. That's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. Um, but yeah, I'm having a good morning so far. Just relaxing, having some coffee. And that's all. I'll check back in later. Hi everyone, so it is like 2.30 and I just finished Come Closer by Sarah Gran. I rated it 5 stars, it might be closer to like a 4.5, um, but realistically how I rate books is just like, could this have been done better? And if not, 
like it gets five stars because if it couldn't have been done better like what else are you rating it on um but yeah overall i really enjoyed it that means two of my challenges are down i still have to go and do my simon says activity um i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow though i think i'm gonna go study for now and then um i have my class tonight my last class this semester yay um but that is where i'm at right now yeah i really enjoyed come closer i would recommend it i think i might make a video of like best really short books um because i think that is a very fun thing to talk about and read is like really short books that you can just like get through really fast hi everyone so it is now friday um early afternoon um i just went and retook the uh simon says photo uh, I decided to do the cover of Eleanor and Park with my partner, even though I'm not the biggest fan of that book anymore. I didn't really like it, but I do think the cover is cute and it worked for the challenge. So I took that photo and then um, I'll insert it right here. Here's the, here's what the first seven says. But yeah, I am now sitting down to take my very last final of the school year. I'm so happy. Um, I'm just going to be studying for a little bit longer and then I'm going to go in and take my test and then I will be done for the day um, and done for the rest of the month with school, which is great. Um, I have winter semester starting like pretty early in January, so I only get about three weeks of a break, but three weeks is good for me. Um, so I am going to go ahead and study a little bit. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all are having a great Disney Channel Games readathon. Um, let me know below, like, if you are participating and what team you're on and what you've been reading. I would love to hear. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the vlog that I'll be starting probably tonight because tonight starts the next challenge, which I'm very excited for. Okay, bye!